everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Emily from Emily Cromwell Designs and I design colorful and happy bookish merch for readers. In this week's video, we're kind of going to be doing a couple different things. So today is I need to start packing up the February monthly bookmark and sticker clubs. I am a couple days late with starting to get those packed up. I usually like to get those packed like the week of the 10th of their designated month. However, you know how last week I said we were pushed back a week with getting the Emily Cromwell Designs boxes packed because of the manuscript? manufacturer error. Well, not an error, but a manufacturer delay. So if I get pushed back with packing something, it usually just like is like a domino effect and everything else just gets pushed back and my processing time gets all messed up. I was supposed to pack the subscription boxes that we did last video a week earlier and by having to do them a week later, it just really messed up the timeline of things because the week I was packing them was the week that I wanted to be packing all like the sale orders from my massive clean out sale because then after that was when I was supposed to be packing the monthly clubs. But then it ended up being during the time I was supposed to be packing the monthly clubs, I was just packing the massive clean out sale orders. So the monthly clubs got pushed back. So that is what we have to start doing today. And um, this is actually a month where we ended up selling a lot more than we usually do. So we have a lot more orders to pack, but I mean, you know what, that's a great thing because I'm so happy that everybody likes this month's designs. So we are going to be working on that today. And then either tomorrow, uh, I guess not Saturday, because Saturday, I'm very excited. We are going to be going to look at wedding venues for the very first time. We're thinking of getting married up in Maine. So we're gonna be going to tour some places this weekend. And I'm gonna be making a separate vlog for that of touring wedding venues and all that fun stuff. So keep an eye out for that. But um, I'm also this week trying to get ready for putting together my new Romance Book Lover Collection launch because I want that to go up next Saturday. However, like I said, I can't take off tomorrow, which is Friday, to get everything ready for the launch because I have to pack the monthly clubs and I don't have any time Saturday because I'm going to be gone all day up in Maine looking at wedding venues. So that leaves Sunday, but Sunday I was going to do the photo shoot for the products. So I need a day where I quality check everything, inventory count everything, and get everything like organized in the studio. I'm thinking maybe Friday evening we can do this fingers crossed. That's what I'm going to aim for. So the first portion of this video is going to be packing the monthly clubs. Well, at least a day's worth of them. And then the next portion of the video, we are just going to be getting ready for the new collection. So I'm going to be showing you guys all the new products, all the new designs, and we're just going to be getting ready. We're going to be doing a photo shoot and we're going to be using a new pink backdrop that I got for um, apparel photography. And yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. I, I feel like there's something else I want to say, but I can't remember remember what it was one thing I will say I can't I don't know if this is what I was wanting to say but I do want to say this is that I was up last night until 2 a.m. drawing and I haven't been like so excited about a design idea and I can't tell you how long like I don't know what I was doing last night I don't I think I was just watching TV and I just got hit with this idea and I was like oh and so I ran to get some paper and I just quickly drew it out because like if I have a design idea I have to quickly like do like a crazy looking sketch just to make sure I get the design on paper before it leaves my head. And I was just so excited about it. I was like well I just want to like really like refine sketch it out. So I went on my iPad was sketching it out and then I just fell in love with it and then I wanted to go on and draw another bookmark to go along with it because it's going to be the March Monthly Bookmark Club and I... I'm so excited. I am officially entering my cottage core era. Okay, at least design wise. I'm not changing my pink era. Like the pink bubblegum era is here to stay. Okay, <laughs> I rhymed. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh my God, it's not even nine o'clock in the morning. Okay. Um, but no, like design wise, I've had so many requests to do like cottage core designs and just like cozy cottagey type stuff. And I was like, this would be like perfect for going into the spring months. So I'm, I'm excited. I cannot wait to show you guys the design. I don't want to give too much away, but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw it, but I'm excited. So 
With that being said, we are going to move on over into getting everything set up so we can start packing the monthly clubs and we're gonna get going on that. can't tell the theme for February is reading dogs. I get asked to do dog designs so much because I'm a crazy cat lady and I'm just I love cats so I'm just always doing cat designs but I know but like I've just gotten so many requests and I was like I'm I was like you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do a dedicated month just for all the dog lovers out there. It's funny because like I'll get like questions all the time being like why don't you do more dog designs like why is it all cats and not a lot of dogs and I actually a little quick backstory I had a very traumatic experience with a dog when I was young and I've been scared of dogs ever since <laughs> I've I mean I if there's dogs that are like really gentle and quiet I do fine with those types of dogs but any dog that's like barking like aggressively or running at me or trying to jump on me I panic and I go back to the experience I had when I was a little kid that scared me for life and um, I have a fear of dogs so I I don't do many dog designs but um, like I like calm dogs like this like golden retrievers I'm good as long as I don't get jumped on but I just I have a yeah I don't do a lot of dog designs because I'm a cat person so um, for anybody wondering why I don't do a lot of dog designs that's why <laughs> but um, I'm happy to do the designs for people that want more dog designs so um, that's the theme for this month and we got everything set up I need to now switch over to getting all the orders printed usually I set up the files to get printed the night before but um, last night was Valentine's Day so I wasn't working last night so I am going to get that set up now and I forgot that I need my extension cord to plug my laminators into so I'm gonna run upstairs I'm gonna go get that and then hopefully we can um, start packing here in the next 20 minutes or so This is how many orders we have to pack for the monthly bookmark and sticker clubs. I think we ended up, how much did we sell? How many orders? Let's see. We did, we sold 443 um, clubs combined with monthly sticker club and monthly bookmark club for February. I haven't sold that many in a while. Usually it's around 400 or like slightly under. So I was like, okay, everybody loves this theme. So love that you guys love this one so much. And uh, we are starting a new audiobook today. So um, last time I saw you guys, I just started the audiobook uh, Crave by Tracy Wolf. So good. I just finished it yesterday. It was giving like major Twilight vibes, but in an academy setting all the way up in Alaska. It was so cool. And I loved it and I was so here for it. And I'm like, those are the kind of books that I just love. And it was really good. When I do my little new reading recap that I do at the end of the month, I'll talk about it a little bit more, but it was so good. So I am starting the second book, which is, I believe it's called Crush Today. I have read some things online and I have seen some spoilers about the love interest for who she ends up with. And I'm like, what? So, I'm a bit hesitant going into this, knowing what I know. But you know what, we're gonna see how it pans out. I'm going into it with an open mind and we'll see how it goes. <laughs>
Okay, so I wanted to tell you guys about um, an idea I had for a new collection. So I've kind of been like struggling a bit with like thinking of some different like collections that I want to do. Like I have the romance collection that we're going to be getting together this weekend. But then I've noticed like what I've been doing like the past few years is just really designing more so for the seasons and holidays and I want to kind of like get away from that a little bit. I'm still going to do that fully for like fall, Halloween, Christmas, that time of year. But like the other times of the year I'm like I don't want to just limit myself to the seasons or the holidays or whatever and I mean okay so this idea I have is still springy but it's not happy spring verbiage right okay so stick with me so the idea that I have is I was thinking like instead of just doing like a spring launch of just bookmarks saying like spring is here happy spring or stuff like that I want to do like everyday designs but that still fit the spring time of year so a lot of my most popular bookmarks actually are my botanical designs and I've been getting a lot of requests if I could do more botanical artwork and I'm like you know what I'm like let's do that for spring so I want to do like a big like botanical bookish launch in the spring it will either be I mean I need time to draw everything and I'm also trying to launch my small business coaching in uh, March so the new spring collection would probably not spring collection see there I go the new botanical collection will probably be either like late April or early May but I want it to be or maybe I don't know, even mid-April. We'll see how much I get done because I'm really excited about the idea so I may get it done sooner rather than later. But I just really want to do, like if you remember last year, I think it was, I think it was May. I think it was May and I think it was May. I keep getting distracted. <laughs> myself because I keep my phone keeps lighting up with notifications and I keep looking over there oh gosh what was I saying guys what was I saying I know I kept saying I think it was May oh yeah last year theme for May for the monthly bookmark club no it was March I don't know it was some month last year but it was botanical bookshop and I'm gonna put the designs right here so that is the vibe I'm envisioning this collection like going for is just plants everywhere combined with books in like a really like uplifting happy color palette it fits the spring vibe but it's not necessarily you can only use it in spring you can use it all year round so that is what I'm going for I'm very very excited about the idea of it. Basically the moral of the story here is that a lot more botanical designs are going to be coming and I have a lot of fun ideas and I'm very very excited about them and I just feel so like rejuvenated because like sometimes as an artist you just I don't know you kind of like you get art block and you want to draw but you just have no ideas or you don't feel motivation to draw them. And I haven't had motivation to draw things in a while. I think it's just cause like the beginning of this year has just been so hectic. I've just been like pulled in other directions and like I didn't realize how much goes into planning a wedding. Like I knew it was a lot, but I fully appreciate now just how much work goes into planning a wedding. Cause it's a lot of time and effort and a lot of my free time has been devoted to researching venues, researching photographers, researching videographers, researching officiants, researching decor, invitation prices, comparing paper styles. I mean, I've just, oh man, things have been busy, but in a really good way because it's a good problem to have because I'm getting married. So it's a, it's a good stress because it's, um, I'm just excited about it, but I've just been putting a lot of time and effort into it because I just, I really want it to be just the day that Chris and I have been dreaming of. So, and you know me with being a designer, I have a very like strict vision, not strict, but like I have a set vision of how I envision the day and decor and just making everything really unique and special. So a lot of planning is going into this, but I'm very excited. So yeah, I just want to fill you guys in on a potential new collection or two that is gonna be in the works. Okay, so I just got
head back. I went to take a little lunch break and I just have to vent. I went on TikTok. I haven't been on in, I don't know, a day. Well, it's been a day, I guess. Yeah, I posted a video yesterday, didn't go back on. And I have to say, one of the things that I struggle with, with posting on there, is it's, I mean, there's, ni there's nice people, but usually it's just a lot of negativity in regards to comments that you get. And it's just really draining to deal with and I just don't like posting on there. I love Instagram, I love YouTube. I mean, yeah, you still get comments every now and then on there, but it's nothing like the amount I get over on TikTok. It's just wild. I had posted a video. I think the title was like packing a $104 wholesale order. And it's just anytime I like post an order packing video, maybe like one out of three or five times I always get comments of people being like yeah I wouldn't pay that much for that or something like oh that's not worth it or whatever and I'm so tired of people trying to tell artists how much their own artwork is worth like if you're scrolling through social media and you see an order packing video and you're like oh I, I wouldn't want to pay that much for that and you just keep scrolling. Like, why do you need to comment and try to tear someone down and make them feel less than? Just because, I don't know, it bothers me. It just annoys me. I'm just like, well, I guess it's a good thing it's not your order then, but it's like, my God. <laughs> it's like, you you can't win no matter what you do. And it's just, I just get so frustrated with that and then other people chiming in being like this is just for stickers or like I can get stickers at this place for this price. I'm like okay and get stickers there like it's I think people don't I think if people aren't used to buying from an artist directly or from a small business owner who draws all their own stuff they may not realize what the normal price of things are i actually think a lot of my stuff is on the cheap side because it could be a lot more expensive that's how i personally think but it's like i don't think some people really realize that you're like like this okay so i charge what is it was it 3.95 for a sticker it's like you're not just paying just for the sticker you're paying also for the artists that you're supporting for their hard work of drawing that design because this design wouldn't exist unless the artist you're buying from drew it. I also think people don't realize how much materials cost because it's like also you have to pay for the sticker like me I have to pay for all these stickers and it's not cheap for me to buy the stickers and then you have to pay shipping for the stickers to get to you so it's like oh, I get frustrated. But that was my lunch break. I was—I literally just wanted to go on TikTok just to scroll, and then it showed that a video I just posted, like all these comments are coming up. I'm like, <laughs> I just saw my face. <sighs> Thank you guys for just being my safe place that I can go to and vent to, and just always being so supportive and loving me and cheering me on. I appreciate you. Thank you guys for being here. So on that note, I am back from my little impromptu lunch break. We are probably going to pack for another two or so hours and that's what we're going to do. <laughs>
Okay, everybody, we have reached 4 p.m. I feel like that came on super, super fast. I feel like I just got into the studio and started working, but it's already been many, many hours. So we are done for today. Um, I am not gonna film tomorrow during the portion of me just doing this all again tomorrow, just so you don't have to sit through and watch me do the same thing over and over again. But I'm hoping tomorrow afternoon we can start at least like unboxing things for the launch and um, like, like I said, like quality, wah, can't speak. Like I said, like quality checking, inventory counting, and doing all that fun stuff. So I will see you guys tomorrow afternoon and don't go anywhere. and happy Friday. It is about 2.30. I just got done packing up about 200 of the monthly bookmark and sticker clubs and I, I've do, been doing pretty good. Between yesterday and today, I only have this much left to pack so I've been doing pretty good. So I'm going to finish the rest up on Monday but you and I today, we are going to be hanging out this afternoon because all of the products for the Romance Book Lover Collection have arrived. I am very excited. I feel like I say I'm excited about everything that I do, but you know what? That's all right. I am very excited. <laughs> but I cannot wait to show you guys everything. I'm, um, I was just going to say I'm very excited again. Oh my God. I need a new word. I'm ecstatic. I'm feeling jolly. I'm excited. <laughs> We have so much for this launch. We have mugs, shirts, blankets, notepads, bookmarks, stickers, magnetic bookmarks, bookmark pouches, and for the first time ever, I did a book review notepad. I've only ever done book review like journals that are spiral bound, but this is a book review notepad. And I'm very excited, and it is a romance book review notepad. So, as I said, excited. <laughs> but the, um, I, I'm planning on doing the photo shoot for everything on Sunday. I mean, heck, maybe we'll get to it today. I don't know. I don't know. I have a tendency to ramble and talk a lot, so we'll see. But we need to count and quality check all the stationary things. And then another thing that I'm very excited about is I have a new manufacturer. Well, it's a, I don't have a new manufacturer yet, but a new manufacturer that's new to me uh, reached out to me. He's been month or so now and um asked like am i looking for other like manufacturers do i need anything else manufactured and sent me their catalog and i looked through and they were like whatever you want samples of let us know and we'll send them to you and the sample box got here so i'm very excited to open that up to see it's not samples of stuff like with my artwork on it but it's just samples to like test out their products to get it like a feel of like what they're like and I'm very excited about that because if all goes well that means I have some other new things that I could make that I've never done before in my shop so that's always exciting there I go again I said exciting again oh my gosh I need to go on a you know what hold on we got a thesaurus this does anybody else struggle with saying thesaurus Thes thes <laughs> thesaurus <laughs> thesaurus thesaurus Thesaurus. Do you ever say a word so many times that it doesn't sound like a word anymore? Thesaurus. Just sounds like a bunch of random letters. Okay, so what am I looking? Okay, excited thesaurus. Synonyms for excited. Thrilled, exhilarated, animated, moved, stirred up, provoked. That doesn't really, no. You know what? I, still, I like excited better. Enthusiastic, excited. I am eager. I am eager for everything. Hi, can you tell I'm a little slap happy? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like I'm always like this on Fridays. I get to the end of the week and my brain is just frazzled and I'm like, it's the weekend! Oh, I get so excited. I think I'm just excited too because tomorrow is our first day of going to tour some venues for our wedding and I'm very excited ecstatic whatever I gosh I keep saying excited but I'm so, and I'm so excited to go and I'm just I'm in a great mood I'm really 
oh, I'm over the moon. <laughs> but um, so yeah, so we need to um, move on over to start checking all the new stationery. Usually I do it on my um, table here, but it is currently taken over at the moment with um, all the stuff for packing up the February monthly bookmark and sticker clubs. So we're going to be over by the silhouette cutting machines over in, in the inventory aisle and that's what we're gonna start doing first so something I've actually been debating um, getting is I want to get like a clipboard so that like when it comes time for launches I can do I can have like kind of like a template Chris had made me one but I haven't used it yet because I just want a clipboard but basically like a little template so I can like mark down what products have arrived for a launch, the inventory counts. There's other stuff on there that he put on there, but I just feel like it would make it so easier because like right now my process is I just like go down the line, count things, and I just put it on my phone. And I need a better system, you know? I need a better system. Especially with my business growing, I'm finding that I just, I need, I don't know, I'm, I'm craving being organized more. I feel like I'm already organized, that like I just like really need things like just boom 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 so I just feel organized in my brain especially since I'm just a one woman shop here because I'm literally the one doing everything so it's very easy for me to get frazzled or forget to do things or yeah so I've been debating also getting like a whiteboard and putting up and like when I need to buy new shipping supplies or I notice um, inventory is getting low being like buy this buy this or make sure to do this these days and yeah but I would need a pretty big whiteboard for that I'm pretty sure very massive whiteboard all right so one of the first things for the launch is this new notepad so we are going to have two different notepads excluding the book review notepad like this is just a regular notepad but we have this one like is this one is my favorite I think from the launch it's just this I don't know, it's just, it makes me really happy every time I look at it. So I hope it makes you guys happy too. So I just realized I'm actually out of space for new notepads. Um, so that puts us in a bit of a predicament. However, I think at least one of the notepads, I think the Rosie Posey floral one, hold on. This design, I think I'm going to, let me get up closer here. This design, I think I'm going to retire this one. This one really doesn't sell much and I don't have any in stock anyways right now. So I'll probably retire this one. Maybe I will have to I'll come over to the earring section because I don't have many earrings in stock, so we'll do that. Okay, so we need to reorganize a little bit first. <laughs> Achieved that one. Oh, my toe. I'm good. Okay, so now that I feel like I totally bruised my whole big toe, we are going to move on to the next notepad. <laughs> oh. Okay, so this one I actually showed you guys, I think it was two videos ago now. So this one is, let's get closer. The romance books are my happy place. So we have some books here along the bottom with some different romance tropes. And yeah, so this is our second notepad.
Alright, let's see if we can do this this time without injuring myself. That would be fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Alright, one down. This time I'm going to break it up into smaller parts so we don't have that happen again. Here we go. We're good this time. Okay, so this next thing I am so excited about. It is my first ever book review notepad, but it is also special because it's also a romance book review notepad. So there's sections for you to put the title, the author, the format. You can circle whether it's physical ebook or audiobook. And then you can put the start date, the finish date, and then down here you can do the overall rating so you can shade in the stars. And then we have a spice rating, and I put some chili peppers here to mark down the spice level of the romance book. And then the overall romance rating, so like the chemistry between the characters and that love factor. So we have three different rating things here that you can shade in based on your opinions of the book. And then we have a review notes section where you can jot down some notes you want to make to write down your reviews. So if you go on Goodreads or Bookstagram, BookTok, BookTube, wherever it is you share your book reviews, you can go back to your notes and be like, okay, yeah, I want to say this. And then I know some people don't like it that I put the favorite quote sections on the book review stuff that I do, but I'm somebody that I love a good quote, especially romance book. Well, okay. All I read is romance books, so I love a good romance book quote, but I wanted to put a section on here so if anyone else is like me, you can jot down your favorite quotes. Now it's time to show you all the new bookmarks. I am so excited for these. So this right here is my favorite bookmark from this launch. Okay, you know what? No, it's tied with something else, but you'll see why in a second. But this, I fell in love with this pattern. I wanted to put it on all the things. So I did try to put it on all the things for a launch. And this pattern may or may not be a book sleeve here in the very, very near future. So you guys know how I like doing bookmark sets of five different bookmarks. So this is one of the bookmarks in the set of five. And the next bookmark in the set of five is a path to a romance bookshop. You guys know I love doing these like path to bookmarks, whether it be a bookshop, or a library these are like some of my favorite things to do so this one I, yeah I had to make this one all the pink and purple next one we have romance books are my happy place and then we have go away please I'm on a date with my book boyfriend and then we have a romance tropes bookshelves complete with a kitty candle flowers all the romance tropes that you can think of and then my other favorite bookmark that I'm sure comes as no surprise to you guys is um, if you saw this design, me drawing it on Instagram, you know the backstory for this design. I wanted to draw a bookmark inspired by my fiance's and I's um, song that's going to be our, the first dance at our upcoming wedding. And the song is My Love, Mine All Mine. And it's perfect because in the song it's talking about like the moon shining your love down on the person that you love. But it's also our wedding theme is going to be written in the stars because we both love astronomy. So I just... I got this big urge and I don't like drawing people so I was like you know what cats are Chris and I's favorite animals so I was like Chris what color cat do you want to be he wanted to be a gray kitty and I was like I'll be an orange one and this bookmark is inspired by Chris and I and the song that's going to be the first dance at our wedding so the story might sound a little bit out there but that's the backstory behind this bookmark.
So also in this new collection, we're gonna be having two new romance stickers. So the first one is gonna be the go away please, I'm on a date with my book boyfriend. And then the next one is gonna be I'd rather be reading romance books. We're also going to be having a brand new bookmark pouch. I am so in love with this. I've got some Toby hair. Don't mind that. Goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, I am so in love with this pattern. And like I said, I just could not help with putting it on literally all the things. And here it is in all its glory. And it's a pretty good, this is the same size as all my other bookmark pouches. So it can fit like a pretty good amount of bookmarks in there. Oh, that came out cute. Okay, guys, how adorable is this? It's the kitty design turned into sticky notes. Oh my gosh, this came out so cute. Look at this. Oh, I love this so much. I'm gonna have to save one of these for myself. And then the other sticky notes that we have for this launch is that bookmark that I told you was my favorite. And I just kind of made like a fun little border with all the icons from it. And we have another set of sticky notes. have also run out of space for more sticky notes so got another divider out I think it's this way okay um, so we are going to I guess we're just expanding over here I'll, you know what I'll probably have to end up doing is can we no you can't see it but up here is where I have like the book review journals and the planners feeling like I'll probably at some point move those over to this side of the inventory shelves and that way this whole first thing here can just be all like stationary with no pads and sticky notes but i don't feel like making that change today so that is a project for another day <laughs> Okay, so we've actually made pretty good time and I'm all done with getting all the products organized, inventory counted, quality checked in the studio. So that makes me very, very happy because it's only a little bit after four. So I'm definitely not gonna do the photo shoot today because I didn't even think, I'm like, well, I have to set up like the photo backdrop to do the apparel and the blanket. So we're gonna do that on Sunday. But um, before we're done today, I do wanna open up that box of the samples from the new manufacturer so we can see what kind of new products I can potentially have in my shop. Okay, so I was going to open the box and like show you guys all the different like product samples that I got. However, all the samples that they sent me was using like other artists artwork and I don't know, I feel weird like posting someone else's artwork on here without their permission, so I don't want to do that. So, um, I'll just tell you about the products. They are top quality. I love them. They sent me coasters, they sent me planners, they sent me calendars, um, oven mitts, um, they sent, what else did they send? Um, notebooks, gift bags, they're a lot cheaper but better quality than the ones I did for my Christmas launch, which would be great for next year. Actually, no, this year, later this year. And then they also sent me um, like desk pads. So like how you guys have been asking me to make like those desk, not desk pads, desk mats, would be like the long desk mats, but then my artwork on them. They sent those, but then 
what was cool was that some of the planners they sent you could create a pretty box to put the planner in so that it's like really like not just hey here's a planner it's a whole presentation I was like I like this company I like them a lot so I'm gonna be reaching out to them to um, see if we can get some new things made and something I'm uh, very excited about is because I've been trying to find a manufacturer to do my new um, well my revamped book lovers planner I haven't even started to be honest on getting the artwork ready for it however this company looks very promising for being able to do what I'm wanting to do like they have really nice spiral bound so it's like actually metal and not just like the flimsy coil plastic coil that I have right now oh, the quality is so good and you can get stickers to go along with the planner yeah I'm very I'm very happy so I guess my question to you guys is like let me know what products you're most excited about for this year so that I know what to work on first so whether it be a new book lovers planner whether it be the desk mats whether it be coasters I, I wasn't expecting them to send me like full-on oven mitts but like they actually are like really good quality but I'm like I don't think people would want like bookish oven mitts but who knows maybe but <laughs> But yeah, let me know just, yeah, like what kind of products for me you're looking forward to the most so that I can put my energy into that and just, like I have my launches planned out for the year for the most part, but I always like to throw in specialized products that like take a lot of time. Like I'm currently working on doing another bookish coloring book and that way I can just really like extra plan out my year more so than I already have so that I know what to work on first and what to work on last. So let me know, but yeah, everything is really, really cute. And I love the quality. I'm really excited. It seems like they can do just like so many different types of products and I love that. So that makes me very, very excited. So that's that, my camera is about to die. So we are gonna call it a day for today, but it's not the end of the video. We still have Sunday where we need to do the photo shoot for the Romance Book Lover collection. And we're gonna try out my new um, photo backdrop. If you watched my first wedding planning vlog, you saw it. That one I'm actually going to have to return because the frame that they sent me, one, was defective but thankfully my mom had a um, photo backdrop frame so we just switched to using that but the like paper roll itself was a lot bigger than I thought it would be I don't know why I didn't think 8 by 8 feet would be big but it's big so I switched and I'm instead getting like a 5 by 7 foot thing so it's like 5 feet wide 7 feet tall so that got delivered the other day so we're gonna be setting that up so we can be taking pictures I'm just really excited to be like stepping up like my product photo game in terms of apparel and stuff so it's not just like here's me in my backyard here's me in my studio it's here's me still in my studio or possibly my living room depending on where I set it up but you can't tell that because it's a pretty pink background so <laughs> that's um yeah I'm very excited to at least be feeling a bit more put together and professional with the apparel photos that I'm going to be taking so that's exciting because then it'll match my little pink um background that I do for photos anyways for like the bookmarks mugs notebooks and all that fun stuff so that is um all we're going to be doing today but I will see you guys, not tomorrow, I'll see you guys Sunday. So don't go anywhere. Good morning guys and happy Sunday. I am so excited for today. One, I'm in a great mood because yesterday touring the wedding venues went so amazingly well. I'll explain a little bit more. I'm doing a separate video of touring wedding venues and bringing you guys along with me. However, I will just say we fell in love with one of the venues. I think it just got me like really excited. And it's just like we walked into the second place and I just could see us there and I just got so excited. Chris was beaming, he was lit up, my mom loved it. It's, I'm very excited. So I'm in a great mood today, but then I'm also in a great mood because today is the photo shoot day for my Romance Book Lover collection. And I'm just really excited because I've kind of been like slacking a little bit this year. And Toby, what are you doing? Toby's hanging out in the sun right now. He's like wrapped around something. What are you doing? 
but I'm really excited for this launch because I just, like I said, I've been slacking a little bit this year and like I've had book sleeve restocks, I've had the massive clean out sale, but I haven't had a big launch of brand new designs. And this is the first one that I'm doing of the year. Usually I do it in January, but January was just slipping on by and here we are in February and I'm just so excited. So I just like, I'm just like bursting for joy. I'm like, here we go. So we are in my living room right now because we are gonna be putting up uh, this photo backdrop here. It is pink, surprise, surprise. And we are gonna be photographing the, I just realized I forgot to bring it upstairs. So I gotta get that, but we're gonna be photographing um, the new t-shirt and also the new blanket today. Using my new photo backdrop, this is the first time I'll be using it for um, photography purposes for my business, so I'm stoked for that. So we're doing that portion up here in the living room simply because I don't have enough space to set this up in my studio. But then we're gonna be moving back down to the studio and we're gonna be doing a uh, photo shoot of the rest of the products for the launch. And I'm just excited to bring you guys along with me and just finally get everything for that launch just ready to go. We've got Toby here. He is ready to oversee the photo shoot day to make sure I get all the photographs done the way he wants them. And let's give this a go. This is what I'm dealing with at the moment. Toby, can we not ruin mommy's new photo backdrop, please? <laughs> Toby. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing behind the scenes? Oh my gosh, guys, look at me and my little man. Look how photogenic he is. Such a perfect little guy. I got this one too. <laughs> He's like, mom, please put me down. And then this one we tried, but we failed. <laughs> okay, wanted to show you guys, this is going to be the new romance shirt for this collection. It says, I'd rather be reading romance books, and it's a light pink color, of course. So we are gonna get this one photographed. Okay, so I got all the pictures done that I needed to do here. We did the t-shirt, the blanket, and the two mugs. So I am going to break down this setup, bring everything uh, downstairs, put it back to where it needs to be, and then we're gonna be moving downstairs into the studio and getting my little, uh, I, was gonna say, I was just gonna say photography set up. Get my little photography set up, um, good to go, and then we're gonna um, photograph the smaller things. But before we do that, I forgot that I haven't made the magnetic bookmarks yet for this launch. So we're gonna make a quick sheet of those and then we're gonna photograph all the new stuff. So I also just got a big delivery of romance book sleeves. And guys, let me catch my breath for a minute. <laughs> Can I just say, I think these may be some of the cutest book sleeves we've ever had. Seriously, <laughs> I have to show you. All right, look at this. Isn't this cute? So this is the pattern that I told you guys that I just became obsessed with with my romance launch. And I was like, I am putting it on literally all the things that I possibly can. And I had asked you guys actually um, what kind of products you guys wanted to see this design on. And a huge amount of you wanted to see it on book sleeves. So I did get it on book sleeves and I got a lot of them. 
as well. <laughs> so I think I want to photograph the book sleeves today too. They're not going to be part of the Romance Book Lover launch just because our book sleeves they just go so fast and I feel like it wouldn't be fair of me to post book sleeves with another launch. So like if you guys are shopping on the launch and then you go to your cart and you're adding things like the book sleeves and the other stuff. The unfortunate thing is that the cart isn't able to save like something in the cart. So you could very well have it in the cart, but someone else could come and buy it and then it sells out. So I don't like to, that's the one reason I always do book sleeve restocks by themselves, just to give everyone a fair chance of here they are instead of people thinking that like, oh, if I have it in my cart, I'm good. So I don't, um, I wanna be fair to everyone as much as possible. So, I don't know whether I'm going to do the book sleeves before the launch or after. I'm probably going to end up doing them probably a week or so later after the launch. That way I can devote this coming week to just promoting the Romance Book Lover launch. And then after that I can start like promoting the um, book lover uh, book sleeves so that I can kind of... So that's just so I'm not like promoting two things at once and I don't want to confuse anyone. So yeah, so that's why they're going to be separate. But first off, we're going to make the new magnetic bookmarks. We have, um, there's three new magnetic bookmarks for this collection. So let's get that made. actually just got this really cute garland uh, a few weeks ago at a store to actually ha oh I already tangled it hold on intermission I don't do well with things like this I get them tangled okay so we got a new garland Ooh, this matches my sweater look at that cute okay as I was saying, I got a new garland the other day and I was thinking before I hang it up, this would actually make a really cute kind of like photo decor piece for like kind of like laying around the, ah, I'm tangled again. <laughs> okay, got it. Because it's a romance collection and we got little hearts here. So I'm like, that could be cute. So I think I'm gonna give that a try. And yeah, I think it's gonna be a really cute add-on.
So I thought I was done, but then when I started packing everything up, I remembered that I still need to photograph the book sleeves and do some more video content for that. So we are done photographing the Romance Book Lover Collection. Yay! And now I'm just gonna do the book sleeves and then we will be all done. <laughs> Everybody, that is going to be it for this video. I feel like this is gonna be a very very long one Probably my longest one yet. So I hope you enjoyed it And I am hearing you guys loud and clear that you love the longer videos So I'm doing my very best to make every weekly video a much longer one than I used to do So thank you guys for your feedback on that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video We did we did a lot in this video and I am just so pumped to just be really like getting in the groove of doing launches again. I mean, between starting the romance launch and then gonna be launching my small business coaching program. Well, not program, but you guys know what I mean. I've talked about doing like, um, you can submit questions to me and I'll do like, um, answer in like a video format so that you always have to look back on. And then the botanical launch that I wanna do. I'm gonna be doing a big birthday launch in April for my, I don't, I can't even say it. Three zero birthday. How am I already gonna be three zero? I mean, no, I refuse to believe it. I'm turning 29 again. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be doing a big launch for that because I might be crying on the inside, but I'm gonna be celebrating on the outside. <laughs> And so before I let you guys go, I just wanted to um, give you some quick details about the Romance Book Lover Collection. So it's going to be this coming Saturday, February 24th. What's the date? Hold on, I don't know the date. This is not very professional of me. 24th. Let's try this again. So, the Romance Book Lover launch is going to be happening this coming Saturday, February 24th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And it's going to be going up in my shop at that time. And that's going to be the blanket, the shirt, the two mugs, the Romance Book Review notepad, the two new notepads, uh, two new sticky notes. We have six new traditional bookmarks, one of which is a set, but you can do individual, and three magnetic bookmarks and two stickers and i believe that's all for this launch and like i said the book sleeves um they are not going to be going up when the launch goes live that is going to be a separate restock date for those and i don't have a date for those right yet but um keep an eye on the community tab because i will post it there for when we're gonna have that restock. So I hope you guys like all the stuff for the Romance Book Lover Collection. Let me know if you have a favorite that you've seen or if you have your eye on anything that you think you might wanna get. I would love to hear what you guys think. And that is gonna be it for me. So thank you guys so much as always for hanging out with me. I love you guys so, so dearly. You are amazing. I just, I appreciate you guys so very much. So. Um, thank you for hanging out with me, and I hope you are doing amazingly well. I hope you are reading some amazing books, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!